Oh, look at that. that <laughs> I just love it. That's so cool. All right, let's spread some moss. It's not like spreading love, except for it's green. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, our main goal is to see if we can get to a Biodome 2 and Algae Generator 2 in order to continue um, building up both biomass and oxygen. So if you look at this Biodome 2, it actually generates 1,160 oxygen units per second, which is huge. Uh, and by far, you know, the best oxygen generation um, option that we've seen so far. Uh, so we want to do this, but of course, in order to do this, we need to make fertilizer and bacteria samples, which means we need a lot of algae. Uh, so off camera, and by the way, we are 30, about 30% on the way towards um, the moss stage. Uh, so, yeah, let's see here. I, um, I I mentioned, I think I put a note in the last episode that I discovered after the fact that you can indeed put flowers inside the flower spreaders. And so this thing is doing 772 PPQs of oxygen with the golden flowers in it. So my three flower spreaders that I currently have all have golden flowers in it. I pulled those out of the tier three veggie tubes and then put some Tusca seeds in to replace those. Um, so yeah, but even, um, I mean, this is pretty, that's a lot of O2, 772, but if we can make that biodome tier two, it's gonna even surpass that. Plus, apparently we can start making tree barks with it, which I guess means that we'll be able to start making trees at some point too. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna go pick um, some more algae but I did, I did go get grab the first batch of algae off camera. Um, so we have um, nine. Yeah, we have nine here. Uh, let's grab those nine because what I want to do with these is I want to make a tier two uh, or maybe even two tier twos. Let's see. Do we have four bioplastic nuggets. We only have two. We can make those as well. Um, yeah, we can easily make those. All right, so why don't we see if we can shoot for two um, uh, of the tier two algae generators. Uh, so that means we need to make two fertilizer. And so we'll need two sulfur and four eggplant to do that. Two sulfur. Are we uh, ready to pick these yet? No, we're at 85%, okay. Two sulfur, one, two, three, four eggplant. Um, okay, yeah, so let's make two fertilizers. That's really cool. All right, so we got the two fertilizers. Uh, we need to make two more bioplastic nuggets. So we're going to need four shrooms and two silicons and two waters. Four shrooms. Uh, two waters and two silicons. Do I have a, hmm, I don't, did I set a silicon uh, chest up in here? I don't think I did. Did I? Iridium, ice, sulfur, nope, I didn't, okay. Yeah, we might do this at some point. Okay, so let's make two of these, very good. And now we should have enough to make two tier two algae generators. We just need to make sure we have two mags, two, uh, four supers, and two waters. And we already have, oh, we gotta grab these uh, bioplastics as well. All right, okay, so two, two mags and four supers and two waters. One, two, three, four supers. One, two, two mags. Looks like I had a, a couple of those in the overflow. 
and two waters. Do we have two waters out here? Yes, we have three actually. Okay, so that should give us enough to make two tier two algae generators, right? Just double check in here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. All right, let's head on over to, I'm gonna do a game save here. Um, by the way, uh, the issues that I was having earlier with game crashes, I think I finally resolved those. It was kind of a combination of um, needing to update my BIOS on my motherboard um, and update the, video, the graphics drivers for my Intel CPU. And once I kind of did that, um, things started working working better. So uh, hopefully I've got uh, the issues resolved, uh, you know, with the crashes and stuff that we were having. It's probably, it wasn't really so much the game, it was my system and, you know, needing to do those things. Uh, and, you know, trying to dial in my new um, RT7900 XDX uh, Radi Radon Radeon card. Uh, so I think I got all that fixed and hopefully we don't have any more issues, you know, with computer hardware. Because we don't like that. It's a frustrating thing to have to deal with. Okay, let's, uh, do we have one more water in here by chance? Not yet. Okay. We need it. We only need two waters though, right? To make these. Yeah. Oh, you know what though? We also have a bunch of, actually here, let's top off our food. Uh, we have a bunch of water that we can grab out of the water collector thing when we go over the mountain too. So we got that going on for us. Are you ready to pick? You are. Okay, let's pick some beans. That means you're probably ready to pick two. Nice. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the beans in here, except for one which we'll eat, and we'll put the other food in here. Excellent. All right, let's head on out and uh, go get some more algae, and we'll plant these two tier two algae generators. Grab all these waters out of here. And, um, I think, uh, you know what? It looks like I say just put these over here, I suppose. Okay. Oh my god, that's, uh, that's a huge, uh, radius there. Alright, so we'll put that one there. And,. Put this one right there. So this does, um, this generates 280 PPQs of oxygen by itself. Um, so cool. Okay, nice. Now let's run over to our tier one algae uh, generator thingamadoodles and we'll grab whatever we can from there. And then go back and see. Uh, I don't know if this is going to give us enough to make the tier two biodome, but if it isn't, then we'll just come back and grab some more later. Okay, so there's a couple algaes right there. For some reason, this one only produces one. I wonder if I have it like too close to the shore or something. Maybe we ought to reset this. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's set it a little further out. Maybe to there. See if that makes a difference. Because I've... Yeah, I noticed that the last time I was here that it only had one algae. Of course, this one's near the shore and it has two. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I'm not really sure what the deal is. This one's near the shore and it has three. Okay, that gives us a total... Oh, what's the matter? Oh, two. Uh, that gives us a total of... 11 algae. Okay, nice. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a new O2 bottle so we're not out and about without one. And even, you know, even though we haven't reached the moss stage, it looks like, you know, we can start to see moss develop on the ground here. There we go. Okay. Do we have stuff to bring back from here? Whilst we're here, let's check. Okay, we got a few ores in there. 
looks like we have everything out of here. Oh, not even close. Jeez. Okay, let's take all of these because we actually need these to make the flower spreaders, which we're, I'd like to make some more of those as soon as we can. Um, let's make another O2 bottle with that. And then the rest of these ores, you know, it doesn't really matter. We we have plenty of all of these, so uh, I guess we'll take some titaniums back. Okay. Right? Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh... Okay, let's head back to the base and see if we have enough stuff to make the biodome tier 2. If we don't, we'll just wait until, you know, these guys generate some more algae and we'll come back and grab it. Okay, so we need to make two fertilizer and two bacteria sample. Uh, let's make a plant's rocket. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, let's make um, two bacteria samples. Nice. All right, we got that done. And then we need to make two fertilizer. So we're going to need six more algae. Ah, oh, shit, we're just a little short on that, aren't we? Ah, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, we'll have to go back and get some more then. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to throw the bacteria sample in there. Uh, we'll make one fertilizer. So we need a sulfur and two eggplant. And we'll stick that in here for the moment. Um, and then once we make that second fertilizer, we'll just need a super and a sulfur on top of that. Okay, so in preparation for building this dome, I'm gonna guess that it's probably the same footprint size as this dome here could be wrong about that but i think i'm gonna guess that uh so what we want to do is we want to expand our hallway our corridor out even further um i don't know how far out we're gonna need to go with it so let's um here let me look at this let's see so two iron and titanium so Let's take it out three more. So we need six iron and three tight. All right. And then, you know, of course, if I'm wrong about that, we can adjust it further later. Take that down. Take that down. One. Two. And three. We're missing one iron for that. And we need an iron also for the stairs. Okay, we'll put that door there. And throw the stairs in place. Okay, and then when we get the new biotome, assuming it's the same size as that one, we will pop it right here um, at the uh, at that end of that. Okay. So I don't know how long it's going to take for the algae that we're waiting on to. Uh. Oh. Okay. I guess that opened up on both sides for us. You know what we could put there, just for funsies, is a window. So we need an iron and a cobalt. Look at that. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, all right. So we just need... Wait a minute. No, what are we doing? We need to make one. Yes, okay. So we need a total of three more algae to make this second... Wait a minute. No. What the hell are we waiting on? Hold on. We already have the two bacteria samples, right? Yeah, we're just waiting on another fertilizer. That's what we're waiting on. So we still need three algae samples. Okay, to do that. What I think I'm going to do at this point then is I think I'm going to cut the camera. 
Uh, I'm going to head back over to the lakes, and if the algae's ready, I'll grab it, bring it back here. If it isn't, I'll just kind of wait, hang out over there, uh, maybe see, grab some more sulfur or something like that while we're waiting until it is ready. So when I have the algae, I'll meet you guys back here at the bio lab, and we'll finish making that other fertilizer, and then we'll do our tier two biodome. It's going to be awesome. See you in a bit. All right, so it looks like the algae's ready already. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from this tier two. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I wonder if we should move that further out. Eh, probably not. I think it's fine. Okay, let's go also grab the algae from the other ones. We have a chest down here. What's in it? Uh, let's take... Yeah, let's take all of that. Why not? Well, actually, you know what, though? I want to take... I, I want to leave room for the algae, so... I'm actually going to put all of this back in there. All right, let's go get the other algae. I think I'm going to make another ore extractor and put it over in that area there and see if we can get it to get aluminum because I, I took a look on the wiki about that and it does seem to imply that if you put it in the right spot, it should be able to pick up aluminum. I haven't... Uh, had any success with that in the other biome that's close to where our base is, but maybe we'll have a little more success in this biome. Uh, you know, plus those things will also, um, they do generate some heat for us too. Not as efficient as a heater, but um, they do generate some. Okay, yeah, wow, look at that. <laughs> We've got a lot of algae. Thank you, my doodles. Okay, let's head back to the base. All right, let's put our extra waters in here. And uh, we need to make one more fertilizer. So we need a sulfur and two eggplants. Are these ready to pick again? Yes, they are. Which means these should be two. I got them all on the same cycle. No, my inventory's full. Uh, all right, let's make one fertilizer. Oh, we, got a, we need a sulfur. Uh, yeah, put that in there, get a sulfur. Gonna stick that in there for the moment. Let's put the rest of the algae in here for now. That's a decent amount of algae. Put all those in there. So we have a full chest of beans there and almost a full chest here. Okay, so let's grab all of that stuff. And we just need another sulfur and a super. Grab that sulfur there. Grab a super out of here. And we should be ready to go with the tier two biodome. All right, here we go. Yep, it looks like it is about the same footprint as the other one. Uh, you know what though, that's... Uh... Nah, I don't like that. Um, oops. We need to we need to extend this out at least one more. So we're gonna need two of those, one of those. And I think that's all we need, right? Or yeah, one more compartment. This is gonna be a long quarter by the time it's all said and done, man.
Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, I'll put a, a door in a and a stair on that too later. Uh, but let's take a look at this place. Oh, what the hell? Uh, I think I need to extend it out a little further. I'm surprised it let me put it in there like that. So this is a little, does appear to be a little bit larger than the uh, tier one biodome. Okay, turn it this way. Um, here, we're going to need to go and attach it from this side so we can see what the hell's going on. That's what where you wanted right there. Yeah, okay. I'll put some more, you know, foundations under it, of course, later. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. This is cool. So do we not... Uh, do we not actually... Oh, okay, hold on. I was going to say, do we not do anything in here? What are we supposed to do with these two squares? Tree bark. Uh. Hmm. What does this do? Oh, you know what? I think what happens is over time... These will generate tree bark, and we take them out, and then we use the tree bark to make trees, apparently. Uh, but I don't know how to do that yet. I don't, I don't think we've come across that technology yet. That's my guess. Open biodome T2. Um, and I guess we don't need to do anything else with this place. Um, it is going to generate a lot of O2 for us. It's going to generate um, over 1,000, 1,160 uh, which is really good. Okay, yeah, so I think that's what the deal is here. On the biodome. Uh, biodome 2 to be precise. Very cool. Let's get up here. Kind of take a little bit of a, more of a bird's eye view of it. Huh. All right. Let's get the stuff we need for a door and a stairs. We're 44% of the way to the moss stage. We need one iron for a stairs and I don't remember what we need for the door. Iron, titanium, and silicon. An iron, titanium, and a silicon. There we go. We got some roots sticking out underneath here. <laughs> awesome. Hydration level is critical. Okay. Um. All right. Last thing I think I want to do for this episode is let's see if we can do that. Uh, that new rocket that we learned. water out of there. So let's go see what mats we need to do that and if we even can do that at this point. It's a uh, uranium asteroid iridium plants rocket. Oh, we need a tree bark to do that. Okay, increases moss spread. Gives a global generation bonus by spreading bacteria from outer space. A thousand percent plants multiplier. 
here again, I don't know, is that a permanent thing or is it just a while it's sort of kind of active? I don't know. But we can't do this until we get a tree bark. So we're going to need a tree bark first. How long does it take for you to start generating tree bark? I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen here is it's just going to give us tree bark. Cause that's what this thing's supposed to do is generate tree bark. And I don't see any kind of an input that I would put into it to make that happen. So we're going to assume that is the situation. When the time comes to make this, we are going to need, or no, not that. Um, Oh shoot, I forgot. I I let's go back. <laughs> I wish we could really see the the rockets from down below so we knew what to do to bring for it, but um this guy. Okay. Uh so we just need to make another fertilizer. We got all the rest of that stuff except for of course the tree bark. So let's get the fertilizer made anyway, so we have that done. Three algaes, two eggplants, and a sulfur. We will stick this in here for the nonce. And uh, the rest of the stuff we can grab when the time comes. It's just we're just waiting on the tree bark at this point. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got our first tree bark. And actually... Hmm, okay. Let's go back here. Grab the fertilizer. And I know we needed a super. I don't remember the other thing we needed. Son of a bitch. All right, let's go check. Short-term memory, man. Oh, we need two super, uh, supers. So we need one more super, a rocket, and a lerma seed. Oh, look at that. that <laughs> I just love it. That's so cool. All right, let's spread some moss. It's not like spreading love, except for it's green. Spreading moss, you know. Okay, it's out of visual range. Do we get any kind of a indication that it's doing something? Is this a is this what we call a moss storm? Oh, it is a moss storm. Look at all the moss. Damn straight, that's a moss storm if I've ever seen one. Um I wonder though, should we have waited until we were at the moss stage to do this? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But we have moss in the air. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, like there's like moss spores all over the place. Very interesting. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do one more thing before we wrap up this episode. And I want to make another ore extractor. I want to go put it in, in that aluminum biome over by the starter zone and see if it makes a damn bit of difference. So we need two Ozzas, an iridium, and a super, an aluminum, and a titanium. Two Ozzas, an iridium. Wait, was that an iridium or iridium rod? It's a rod, okay. Uh, I don't think we have any rods, so we're going to have to make one. We got it all. 
All right, let's head back over there and we'll set that down in that aluminum biome and see if we can actually get it to give us aluminum. That would be nice. Okay, let's grab the water and the moss, or not moss, algae. Get a lot of algae off of just one tier two. Did we check this chest? I don't think we ever did. Uh, all right, I'll grab it later. I don't want to. I don't want to just consume that stuff for the sake of consuming it. And we don't really need any of that right at the moment. There's moss growing up on the hills over there. Not sure if that's due to our efforts with that rocket or if it's just happening because it's happening, you know. We still have to investigate and loot those cliffs over there. And there was some other spot, you know, uh, biomes to the north that we need to hit as well. All right, if we put this thing down here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it looks like it is going to primarily grab aluminum. I guess it just didn't work in that other biome. So there you go. Okay, this will be our aluminum ore extractor. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, and we also learned the tier Chew flower spreader. So that does 260 oxygen. Um, plus, you know, whatever flower we put in it. But that requires also two fertilizer, which actually we should be able to make. Um, so I think my plan for that is that we'll uh, we'll we'll just slowly transfer our golden flowers or golden seeds into the flower spreaders as we as we make them but nice i'm glad we were able to uh get an ore extractor working exclusively on, well it's not exclusive but it'll prioritize aluminum we'll still get a couple of the other types of ores too but that's good i might even make another one of those and bring two over here just to you know get that aluminum production going we'll see Oh uh, shit, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab the algae from the smaller algae generators. So let's go back and do that. And you know what else I'm going to do? I think I'm going to build a... Here, let's grab all of that. I'm going to build a shed next to our aluminum extractor. So that we have an extra place to store aluminum, but it also will give us a uh, an O2 station too to stop off at. All right, let's just grab that right now. Very good. Okay, let's run over and uh, grab the other algae from the smaller guys. Inventory's full. Son of a. Um, let's drink a water. Okay. Uh, I would really like to. I'm going to drop this stuff. Well, not the aluminum. I'm going to drop all that stuff because that stuff is super easy to get. I'd like to come back with a nice little load of algae. Is that... Okay, you know what? I'm going to move this out further. Well, except I don't have enough room, do I? No, I'll have to do it later. It may not... Ah, uh, shit. It may not make a difference, but... 
I don't know. It seems like the ones that are in deeper water make more algae than the ones that are not. Could be wrong about that, of course. Now, I had mentioned that I had looked on the wiki earlier to see what the deal was with these uh, or ore extractors and it also said if we place one over in the biome where all the silica or not silica on the sulfur was then it could also potentially get sulfur and it can get iridium iridium is the one thing though so far anyway in this game that i haven't um had any trouble getting in quantity uh, we have the entire volcano biome we have several caves and we have the meteor crater which still has a shit ton of iridium in it so i just don't think we need to do an ore extractor for that specifically but for um for sulfur that could be useful these look like big aluminum rocks rock formations perhaps that is exactly what they're supposed to be i don't know there's a few bins and things in these in these uh, structures, whatever they are, but every time I come through here, I'm loaded up with stuff, so I never have enough room to grab them. All right, we have a full bin of algae and then some. Uh, I think I'll put, whoops, I think I'll put the rest of the algae in here for the moment. I'm kind of hesitant to pre-make stuff until I have a better feel for, uh, you know, what we're going to be using a lot of. We need bacteria samples for mutagens. Mutagenic agent use it in the DNA manipulator. Fertilizer tier two doesn't give us, uh, I mean, we need methane cartridges. I don't know how to make those. I'm sure something will happen at some point, which will allow us to be able to do that. Okay, we have two bark in there, and we probably have two bark in here. All right, so what we should do is let's let's get a storage container in here somewhere to just store the extra barks. Oh, it's not going to let us put one in here. Interesting. Can we put one in here? Hmm. -mm. Um. Okay. I guess we could just put them out in the in the hallway. Let's put one right in the center there. Why isn't this one making one, making them? Oh, maybe we have to wait. Maybe it fills these two up first, and then it fills those two up. I bet you that's what the deal is. Okay, well, so we'll just leave those two in there, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to let these two fill up again and not harvest them, and then see if these two will fill up. That's my guess. I think that's probably what's going to happen. All right, let's do another food harvest here to just keep the cycle going. So nice to have an abundance of food. Look at that. We're, I've already filled up two full chests with beans. All right, I think moving forward, I'm not going to harvest any more beans until we start consuming enough to... Uh, let's see, we have seven, right? Yeah, so once I eat seven beans out of here in, in, in addition to these three let's have one right now then I'll harvest the next seven so we'll basically just always keep two full containers of beans oh, we don't even have room for those now shit okay nice problem to have the extra stuff that we have I'm going to put in overflow and I'll just eat them, you know, as I need to replenish my food. That is the plan. All right, let's go up here, take a look. We are now 57.8%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0.9%, 0
uh, towards the Moss State. So it's possible that we will meet that in the next episode. Um, and speaking of which, not sure what we'll do. We've got we've got a couple more areas that we need to explore that we have not explored. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. And I think we'll make another ore extractor and take it over to that sulfur biome and plop it down there and see if we can actually get that to autom you know, automate sulfur for us. Let's try these again and see if we can actually do something with them now. Not yet. Okay. Well, we'll keep trying. I'm sure there's some kind of a threshold we have to meet. Uh, we have a new message from Riley, by the way. Use ore extractors. Rockets are really important. I thought we already read that. I don't know why that... Hmm. These are... Yeah, we've already read all this stuff, too. This is just, you know, from the, the bunkers and things that we've come across in our adventures. So it just records them there. Um. Uh-oh. I had another game crash. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here then. <laughs> so... Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.